Good afternoon, I'm Dave Percy at the National Weather Service with Friday's Alaska Statewide Weather. An active frontal system brought rain, moderate at times, from St. Lawrence Island across the Seward Peninsula and in toward the central interior areas. Rainfall amounts of nearly an inch today were recorded at Nome and Golovin, as well as Poor Man. Both Ruby and McGrath had about a half an inch. A quarter of an inch of rain fell at Sitka and Juneau as an upper level trough kept showers going in that area. Back over the interior, gusts to 43 miles per hour occurred at Scammon Bay with gusts to 30 miles an hour being clocked at Unalcleet and St. Michael. Gusty winds extended into the central interior in the 15 to 30 mile per hour range. And for tonight, uh, look for rain to spread southward into Kuskokwim Bay and extend northward across Norton Sound to the eastern Seward Peninsula. 1,008 millibar low over the northern upper Yukon Valley, along with a frontal system, will keep periods of rain going from the central interior northeastward to the extreme eastern Arctic coast. Showers will diminish across the southeast coast and will remain dry for Kodiak Island and the Alaska Peninsula. And for Saturday, a 1,005 millibar low will develop over the Yukon Delta, so look for periods of rain, possibly moderate to heavy at times, to continue in that area. Gusty southwest winds of 15 to 30 miles per hour with a few higher gusts will be seen in advance of the front from Bethel northeastward to the Koyukuk Valley. There's a chance of rain and snow moving on to the western Arctic coast late tonight and that will push over to the central coast during the day tomorrow. Otherwise it will be partly sunny across the panhandle. For Sunday, that low moves in across uh, the Kuskokwim Delta area at about 1,008 millibars. That will spread rain into Cook Inlet. Rain is likely the entire day across the Kuskokwim Valley and possibly the western Susitna Valley back to the northwest along the frontal boundary through the central interior. Look for scattered thunderstorms to develop in advance of the front. Clearing skies will be seen from the eastern Arctic coast with dry conditions back down across the Seward Peninsula. It will be partly to mostly sunny over the southeast coast with light winds. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Dave Percy.